What is up, my Canadian cousins? So happy to be back with you. Today we're going to be reacting to, well, actually what we're going to be doing is looking at uh, a Canadian legend in the music world, Robbie Robertson. Robbie passed away August, and I was away uh, out of the country, you know, upon returning back to the U.S. and learning that Robbie had passed, had, had wanted to do a YouTube video on it right away, and I just couldn't. But um, I'm making up for lost time now, and I would like to remember Robbie. Now, I'm not going to say that I am a Robbie Robertson expert. Um, I did do a video mm, last winter, I think, about the Acadian Expulsion, and I highlighted the band's song, Acadian Driftwood, which Robbie Robertson wrote. Uh, he wrote actually a lot of the band song and, and songs, and I'm a very big fan of the band and have always been. So I know Robbie from that, of course, and I also know him from, you know, the Basement Tapes and from uh, his work with Bob Dylan. But my knowledge, and, and, I, and I love the Scorsese um, film of the band's uh, concert, The Last Waltz, uh, where they had a lot of guest uh, singers as, as sort of their last hurrah of touring. And it was just amazing. Um, but I don't know a lot of the more contemporary stuff, but I know that Robbie continued to make music and he continued to work with Scorsese on film production and music scores for films, etc. cetera. Um, but I really have never heard his uh, solo stuff and I, and I realized it took you know for his whole career from the 1960s to the 1980s to finally like make a solo album I believe in 1986 the only song I know from it is Broken Arrow that Rod Stewart I think it was yeah, Rod Stewart covered and it's a great song I love it very much and I'm not gonna um, listen to that now because I do know it somewhat and uh I don't know any of his other solo uh, music, but I do understand that the debut album won um, the Juno for, I think multiple Junos, I think maybe album of the year that year and um, male vocalist and some other things. And he, he, you know, he, he is just such a good collaborator and he has been his whole career and he collaborated with um, U2 on that album for one of the songs. And, Peter Gabriel on one of the songs, and I always thought that Broken Arrow had a had a Peter Gabriel ish vibe to it in his, in in his singing, um, you know, particularly in that time period in the nineteen eighties, and eighty six would have been around the time that U two really exploded with the Joshua Tree album. Yes, there was Boy and War, um, but but the Joshua Tree is really what made them international superstars. So I'm gonna react to one of the songs from that debut album. I'm not even sure what the name of the album is um, on the collaboration with U2. I happen to love U2 and I'm just super curious as to how these two, um, you know, wonderful uh, sets of musicians, Robbie on the one hand, who Rolling Stone named one of the top 100 guitarists, I think of all time, and uh, U2 on the other hand. My final thoughts is that, you know, before I get to the videos that Robbie was just a, I know he was uh, part indigenous um, on his mother's side. You know, I think, I think he was very involved in First Nations affairs and advocacy and the like. And, uh, you know, that's just wonderful. I think he, from, from what I understand, I think he was a great guy. I, again, I'm no Robbie Robertson expert, but I do very much admire him and his music. So, my friends, let's get to it. Another loss of another Canadian giant of music, and it's sad. Um, we, are all, we are all mortal, and we all must come to an end. He was 80 years old when he passed from prostate cancer, and that is sad, but at the end of the day, he lived a very good life, and... Uh, made an impact on the world. I'll see you on the flip side. By the way, the, I, I, I neglected to mention the song that I'm gonna be, um, be listening to, and it is my absolute first time, is Sweet Fire of Love, Robbie Robertson, 
recorded in Dublin, Ireland with U2 in 1986. Right off the bat, that initial guitar work is definitely the edge from U2, and I think he was about to come in there. I like it. His voice and Bono's voice contrast each other very well. Yeah, this is a great co collaboration. I'm, I'm a minute and 26 into it and I'm loving it already. to listen to this again immediately after I stop recording this video because honestly you know I do have a pretty decent aptitude to for listening to lyrics and appreciating the music of the song all at the same time even when it's the first time I'm listening to it but for some reason I didn't do that here I was really getting into the music and and just listening for his parts recognizing his guitar uh, as against uh, what U2 is doing here and so I just kind of got lost in the sauce there and, and, and wasn't paying close attention to what the lyrics were. So I don't actually know what the song is about, but that's okay. I'm going to listen to it several more times, I'm sure, and I will know, and I'm sure I'll get some comments from you guys letting me know. Thank you.
I wish I didn't have to pause, my friends. I do. You know why. I've explained it before. That guitar work right there, that solo on, and, and it's not, it's not even overt. It's sort of like under underlaying some of the other music that's going on. There's definitely Robbie, not the edge. Well, my friends, oh man, that was good. That was good. Very, I, I can see him collaborating with Peter Gabriel also from this album, and I'd like to listen to that. Uh, boy, I think I'm going to get this album, and I um, got to go on a half hour drive in a few minutes to uh, take my dad out for his 82nd birthday dinner tonight, and I know what I'm going to listen to whether my family likes it or not, this album from Robbie Robertson. Um, but I do understand he did some uh, stuff towards the end of his life, as late as, you know, 2019, 2020, 2021, maybe even. Um, and I would love to check that out. I think he did a collaboration with Derek Trucks, whom I love very much. I'm a huge fan of uh, the Tedeschi Trucks band. Saw them out in Colorado this past uh, spring. No, no, in the summer, sometime in the summer. Anyway. I digress. So uh, following this shortly will be my reaction to CBC's interview with Robbie Robertson a couple of years ago in remembrance of this wonderful, amazing Canadian artist with such longevity, and he will be sorely missed. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you soon.